Give us some perspective on how bad this series of storms has been compared to what you've seen. He has had a front row seat to every major storm to roll through Northern California since the 1950s. And tonight he gives us incredible insight into our recent wild weather. Tony Lopez tracks down this water whisperer in a story you'll see only on CBS 13. His fingers aren't as fast on the keyboard. And his gait has seen speedier days. But the mind of Maury Roos is as sharp as the pens and pencils he chooses to use on the piles of paper of research here at the Department of Water Resources. When it comes to California storms, Maury, at the age of 82, has seen it all. Remind me how long you've been here because I know it goes back to the 1950s, correct? I came to work for DWR in 1957, so in a few months that'll be 60 years. Those six decades of experience as a hydrologist, analyzing and planning for what might happen and what needs to be done to protect the public, helped provide the calm during the storm as water experts here at the DWR worked around the clock dealing with our state's recent wild weather. One thing that I was told about you is that you help people keep their cool whenever things are kind of going crazy. Well, that's nice of them to say that. <laughs> Well, I guess there's some advantage to having been through a few of these things. And Maury remembers those things, some of Northern California's biggest storms, as if they just happened. December 1955, uh, December again in 64, and uh, 86, and that was February. And 20 years ago, the 97 floods, Maury says, those were something too. As someone who has seen a lot, has anything surprised you about this weather pattern and this weather system we've been seeing? Well, the surprise really was that the, the spillway didn't hold up at Oroville. Take us back to when it was realized that that was failing. What was that like in this room? Well, the surprise was the uh, the hole that developed in the in the main spillway, and the, the worry was if this should erode upstream, you know, it could compromise the dam. He agrees making the call to evacuate close to 200,000 people was a tough but necessary one to make, and he's confident the repair work on the spillway will be done. With the January and February storms now done, Maury reminds us of a few key things. The flooded Yolo bypass performed exactly as it was designed. It did. It was not a capacity, maybe about two thirds so in this storm. It has been higher in the past. As for the possibility of a wet month of March, he says our state's battered infrastructure should be able to deal with that. We can handle one of these kind that we've had. As long as we have time to dry out in between storms, kind of like what's happening now. As for what will happen in the future, this man whose cup runneth over from stories of the past is certain of one thing. Now the world isn't going to end. We'll, we'll solve it a little bit at a time. Yes, we did ask Maury that $100,000 question. Can we say the drought's over now? He pointed out that official declaration has to come from Governor Brown, but as far as he's concerned, from a hydrologist standpoint, yeah, it's pretty much over. So how long will Maury keep putting in hours The DWR? Well, he told Tony as long as they find his insight useful. He'll keep working. I believe that. Isn't that great? Yeah. <laughs> Curtis.